Hello Diamonds, and welcome back to Echo B Season 5. This will be the final episode, because we are waiting for the big crash to destroy the world. So it will be one of the longer ones, because after the crash I will just quickly fly around and see the status of the city and everything. But yeah, so at the moment we have about 20 minutes left. So, so yeah, it will take a while. I did try to make more use of electricity to make the pollution higher, but it wasn't enough. So yeah, I built a small fountain. Not the best looking, but kind of working. And I also made this viewing platform so they can look it a bit more closely around us. So yeah, I think we can just go up and start waiting. So yeah, all my vehicles are here. I noticed that my skid was on the ground when I logged in. So I had to take it back down. Because at least then there is hope that it will survive. But yeah. So this is about 40 blocks above the main building. It's quite high up. Well, high enough so we can see both the Leo's place and the lion at the same time. The weather seems good. So I think uh, whenever the server res uh, restarts, the weather will be reset. Because uh, last night I also tried out the weather commands that are now hidden inside. So the rain looks really, really traumatic. So we have to see if any of the admins come in, if, if they can re-enable it, just to give it a bit more darkness. But yeah, so I will stand around here until, until the shower starts. And I will see you during that. The shower is now finally starting. The actual meteor crash will take almost an hour, so I will leave uncut video under it. And uh, and yeah, so what you can see from now on will be just cut down. And you probably saw this small flash. This is where the meteor should have crashed, like the main one. And the audio after that went really, really, really bad. So I ended up uh, just uh, lowering the volume for the rest of the video. Because even like after I relogged, the audio stayed really, really bad. So but yeah, it seems to be like server side trigger for that. But anyway, it started like really calm, like usual. So nothing really seemed wrong. So, yeah. But then the meteor started coming. And there was a lot of it. So now it goes really, really dark. So, yeah, like the nighttime is properly dark. So you can't see anything. So I ended up adjusting uh, the video. A little bit so so this way at least it's possible to see what's there because like on some displays especially during the daytime or in bright environment it's impossible to see stuff and there were a few times when like i was looking at uh, my screen in a dark room and i couldn't see anything either so yeah, i did speed up quite a bit of it because otherwise it takes a long time. So this is just the start of the meteor shower. I was often walking around seeing what's happening around me. And later on I do end up getting hit quite a few times. So so what is left of our shop is kind of not, not really much. But yeah. So it starts okay-ish. So, a few hits here and there. I often run around to find them and see like how much damage they did. Did they destroy anything close to me? Any other people had 
by that time already a few crashes and 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 uh commented on the chat that uh, they're having like waterfalls and whatnot and of course the roads got destroyed therefore also the power so i think like the first 40 minutes out of an hour uh, we still had the power available and it was only because i had placed one of the uh, generators in under my shop but once the uh, pipes from the pump got destroyed and it also stopped working and then we had no power after that so at the moment you can see that there are few hits close by and we we still kind of have all the lights and stuff so nothing too serious so the first government hit was there so we lost everything so no laws anymore there were two more hits later on uh, where like some other parts of the government got done because we had the laws in in different courts set up so it wasn't only one location so now it's a bit closer hits and we lost our viewing platform it was a bit troublesome because then I had to find a way to get back up. I mean, I was looking around to see what else is damaged. But yeah, so I got back up. I tried to get good position, but it was very difficult with all the dirt there. So I tried to use the shovel to get rid of it. And, and yeah, just to make it more viewable. So I dropped some of it and well, of course there was some unknown force from the side that pushed me off. And yeah, the game was really, really, really behind. So I was having about 20 second delay at that moment. Whenever I was dropping the dirt, it, it didn't mean that it's actually doing anything. And yeah, the smoke you can see in front, it was from the uh, generator. It started pumping the power into the grid. So yeah, for a while I was just thinking like, what can I do to make this better? I ended up making a new tiny platform. So I took parts of the tower down just so I can have a flat surface. There were a few hits that were next to our test door which of course didn't survive and there were a few like Musk came over which was kind of interesting he was flying a bit seeing what what is happening and of course we had few hits nearby and yeah sometimes we get you know, I heard some bangs really close so just trying to see so he's building it next door was already very damaged and well it did get more damage so here was one hit on top of the tunnel and i started to have connection issues happily we didn't disconnect this time so the server stayed alive but yeah so night time there was hits next to his building as well so it was kind of uh, nice to see that uh, both sides got the same arm hit. And yeah, a few close hits. So our gold mine got but quite nice holes everywhere. And we did lose our main manufacturing area. I mean, we still had most of the machinery, but that was it. And we did so this was the part where we lost all the piping, I think. It was quite difficult. A few more close hits, but massive. And well, right after that, we ended up getting hit directly again. So we lost everything. So only two pillars left that go all the way to the sky. 
but the rest of the platform was gone. We did also lose the steam truck, which was hit during the process. And yeah, so I just stayed on top of the roof for the rest of the shower, which happily finished. So for some people it finished earlier, for some later, based on how the server was able to send the info out. But yeah, it was really, really, really massive thing and the rain definitely helped us out as well. So even after relogging, the audio is still kind of bad. It's probably just a glitch on the server side. But anyway, I did a little bit work downstairs. So I have power in my building. But it's only for me at the moment. So I have my generator running. And yeah, I try to wall off as much as possible. But it's very difficult here. I removed few machinery because it was on the way. And yeah, this mechanical power system here is no longer functioning. As this one is in the ocean water. Ah. It's not about the ocean water. It's just it's too deep in the water. Okay. But the bottom one is still working. Which is important because to make power I needed uh, some mechanical power. But yeah, I'm, I'm using the fly mode now. Just because we want to look around quickly. Uh, and... Most of my factory area here was also gone. So I did rebuild uh, one wall. So inside I can now already make some more stuff. So making few more uh, iron plates for any purpose. I might make something, but oh, it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, so let's actually take a look on the map. So the map shows that it is, oh, there's not really much left, that's all I can say. And the main hit actually happened over here. I'm, I can't remember what was in there because I didn't really go there, in that corner. I remember I went to this shop to get one extra skid. But yeah, otherwise, there wasn't really much interesting over there. I, I think some people were mining there and so on. And interesting enough, it seems that uh, the maze is mostly intact. I mean, there is slight damage probably in this neighborhood, but we can take a quick look. At first, let's see the area where we were that's so master's house there's nothing left really just plenty of holes it got really really a lot of damage and when we go over here like the road factory gone sand castle is heavily damaged the big warehouse for the line project. It's, well, you can restore some of it, but it's only like one third of the area left. Now, under the line, it is quite dry, like usual. There is finally some water coming through, but it doesn't look really what we would expect. So yeah, downstairs it's still the same. Yet upstairs, oh, I mean it was flooded before, so it's not really much change on that side. Like there's few holes here and there, but the rest of it. Yeah, it's not as badly damaged as most things. And yeah, the roof usually takes the first hits. Like it was with uh, the viewing platform I had at the beginning of the episode. 
So usually uh, the tallest things go first and then the rest. And this place has always been underwater now. Like you can see that it's all the way until the top of the door, all gone. So it means also the full road is the same state. And yeah, our demo shop, it's literally gone. Exactly where the shop itself was, was uh, with all the machinery and stuff. Because I had like the industrial refrigerator there and many other things. It's all gone. Exact hit on top of the store. Now, when we come to Leo's place, this is the beach house where we live at. It still has some rooms intact, which is unique. I wasn't really expecting it to survive that much. Yeah, actually quite good states compared to many other places. And his viewing platform has had a little bit damage as well, not too much. You say it was more uniform before. And our beloved B, it's also quite mushed, unfortunately. I hope Musk can still have the copy of it, either from the backup or maybe he already did the copy, not sure. But yeah, it would be nice to have in the next season. And here is the city. It's all in shimbles. The big hotel, the road next to it. And not really much restore there's no cafe anymore she's cut in half and somewhere here we had the uh, lasers I think yeah, it's right here, underwater. But the lasers are still intact, interestingly enough. But they were already underwater, so no surprises there. Yeah, it's still quite slow at loading stuff. So yeah. A lot of buildings were hit heavily. So it's just empty space. No more upgrade shops. Nothing like that. And yeah. A lot of main shops that we visited a lot. Yeah, all history. The loading time is super long now. I think the audio itself is also going straight to us here. But then why isn't it that side? Not sure. So yeah, it's really, really loud for me, so I need to make it quieter later on. And slowly move around and see status really want to go and check out also the maze like what is left of it because from from the top it seems that at least some of it is like totally fine road is totally destroyed Greenhouse, there's nothing left of that. So, so it seems that the 
At least the top part of the maze is also gone. But yeah. There's nothing really left in here. So all is gone. And the bottom part of the maze is well intact because there's nothing to be destroyed in this tunnel. So once you come down from yeah. But yeah, the top part is all underwater. So yeah. Apple this building did survive. So anyone interested can live in this place now. Because it it doesn't have the water damage. Yeah. So wow. This waterfall is kinda unique. A lot of water coming out different way. Not something that I would have expected. So it seems that the river physics got a bit destroyed. And there used to be a building up here. Nothing really left of that. And yeah, now we are heading to the government, which is cut down into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. So during the meteor shower, there were a few times when like different parts of the building were destroyed. So we could see that some laws became inactive. The store is still here, interestingly enough, but of course, because it's not in the room, then nothing can be done. And yeah, the culinary research papers were the only ones that were needed. So we never finished the cutting gauge cooking skill, but it has no use yet, so hopefully they will add something for the next version. And there's new science as well. It's something that... Uh, I must have added as a mod. So upgrading is very different. So the old upgrades, once you finish with the basic ones, you can still use them. And yeah, Resix's place is also gone. I hope he got all his blueprints done for the next season. Bridges and power plants. Well, there's not really anything left. And is any machine running, or is it all coming from the wind power? It's just wind power that we're running on. So yeah, in this neighborhood, there's a little bit power being made. But 6,000 watts. It's not that much, but it does help. And I think there was the big harbor building as well. Which will load in soon. There it is. This one got a little bit damaged, but again, as it had a lot of higher laws than sustained a lot, uh, like it could prevent a lot of damage. But yeah, so the pool got broken, and it has now those interesting photo walls. So I think someone in the chat did even mention that they climbed up this waterfall. Yeah, it has been very interesting season on those things. The 
think down here is the wine. Anything left in here? Probably not. So I think here I can see that there is a skid step, but it's probably up somewhere. I can't see. Because I remember leaving the skid step here. So let's see. It it is ours. It's level forty nine. So it means it's nicely inside the rocks. It's an excellent game. And yeah, because it's inside the rocks somewhere here. Shouldn't be. Should be right here. Based on the map, isn't it? So yeah, it just doesn't load in again. Oh, typical. Yeah, many other shops gone. The day daytime is also ending, so so with that we will pretty much conclude this season as well, because the nights are very very dark now. Just a few more buildings down the road before we get back to our place. The road got a lot, as we noticed before. This building, nothing really left. And yeah, this is our coal mine. I mean, it used to be. Uh, I had a shipping container inside and there's nothing left but yeah it's the main part of the mine so this one complains because it's not on the solid grounds <laughs> not really a problem so like some of the mine is still left because yeah but I have the container that's where I did uh, uh, clay mining for bricks but yeah so we lost our viewing tower lost most of our shop but it was really fun season so I hope everyone else enjoyed it as well. And we'll see you all the power. Supply is gone. What's the reason? Let's go down and check. Out of fuel. Yeah. We can change that. Because it's kind of strange to end the episode with no power. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the season and we'll see you in the next one.